Hello everyone and welcome to a fun and exciting episode of Interstellar Logistic Inc. Fun and exciting are not guaranteed as usual. And this is a one-off video, it's an impression video, it's not the first impression because I've actually looked around a little bit, but I don't feel really I'm the kind of person that can give you a full-size review of this game, but I've been asked to show around in this game, so that's what I'm gonna do. So what exactly is Interstellar Logistic Inc? It's a um, action puzzle game, they call it, where you shoot crates from point A to point B. That's it, it's also the third game by the game company Exalted Guy. Never heard of them before, but who knows. So, shall we take a look at everything here? We have here first the main menu, and we only see a start button. Only because um, accident, I later hit that, oh, there's a quit, and there's a setting. So, let's check the settings here though. Nothing. We can reset the save. Otherwise, well, you know. Under construction, they say, I mean, it says this is beta, I wasn't told that when I first were like, yeah, do you wanna check out this game, maybe give us a little exposure, it's like, oh, sure, didn't say beta then, but then I get to learn that, so, so I think we checked here, so shall we go into the game itself? Okay, so we enter the game here. This, this is basically, this is, um, I think it was 10th level or something like that, 13, 12, I'm um, not totally sure. And at the moment there are about 50 levels, they say they will add even more. And they also said um, it's um, gonna be, there are more than just this shooting and thinking about the planet's gravity. So far, I haven't seen it. But otherwise, what do we have here? We have, we can move here. Our space gun. Ooh, space gun. We can angle it, we can change the power, and then we can shoot it away. Like, woo! And we didn't plan anything, but there you see it turning because of the planet, and boo! That's how it looks like it explodes. That's something I actually like about the game, how when it explodes, when you fail, basically. I feel more rewarding there. When you fail and where you win. Why did I even choose this level? I mean, I've completed about uh, 50 or 20 levels or so. Why did I choose this one? This one I'll never complete again. So, what you basically do here is to take, you shoot your cargo from the space gun into this little area. I can't move the map, anything. All we can change here are the force, the angle, or whatever. So, we have basically 7 to 8, or maybe we can go. Lower that we can get only 6 and 3 and such that. So we can have from 6 to 8 numbers you put in and then you press a button. That's the game. Of course you have to think here about the gravity of the planet so you can uh, go around it, you know. Otherwise bad things happen and it might explode. They warned in the tutorial like yeah, destroy all the life form and they show a planet like, yeah, this looks like a destroyed planet. So I actually expected like, if you crashed once into it, it would be like, burning up a little bit there on the side and so, but that's not something I've seen. Otherwise, we also have these satellites, that you are supposed to go there, they, again in the tutorial, voila, that's the most important thing you get them, but really they are just pickups, collectibles. In the end screen you get something nice there like Yay! You have 6 of 6. Actually you don't even get the yay. I'm, I'm gonna show you the completion screen, okay? Because maybe I should have shown some. Why I shouldn't have shown some this level? Then? Here we go. I'm gonna show you the completion screen though. Okay, here's a little easier. Unlike we can do. We can just do it full force. Straight into it. We don't get every one of those but Trust me, I've gotten all the satellites before, and nothing really special happened for it. Either compared to just completing. So here we go. And that's it. Like, yeah, 5 of 6 checked in. No blown up. We can retry, go back, or go to the next level. No, I... Oh, you should expect, like, some kind of grey, or maybe a little, like, Yay, you did it! Good work! Something, but it's like, nope. 
it's completed. That's just that. That's it. So, what about the game itself here? I, personally, I don't find anything compelling with this game, really. I don't see it as much as a puzzle as it just basically for two different sliders he shows and then just pump it away. I don't see how I can just figure it out with my brain without just testing and testing and testing, because I don't even know how far what the planets do even in the gravitational. Some are stronger, some are weaker, and it doesn't even seem to depend on the si size. Maybe it's just me that have missed that, but yeah. I haven't noticed there anything with the size, like, yeah, okay, a bigger planet have gra the gravitational pull, or small have, or something like that, so yeah. I like it though, because there are a lot of things in these boxes though. Yeah, so I feel it's more gratifying to just lose. But again, though, back there to this kind of game. I see there no gratifying with this, no compelling for this kind of game. There. I mean, I know many probably like it because we have Angry Birds, right? It's. This is similar to Angry Birds 2, right? Didn't they go to space then and have to worry about gravity also? I'm not sure about that. So what? Some other things. I haven't noticed any bugs otherwise, so it seems like a solid game in itself. It just doesn't seem very much to it. Not very compelling, as I said there for me. Also something that I've noticed here, like, even though we have sounds here, some sound effects and so there are no background music or anything like that. It's just, okay, we're here not doing anything specifically and it's totally quiet. See? In space, no one can hear you scream maybe, but you can hear the gun firing away. And I wish there were more I could say about it or give it a better review because they asked me and it's like the first time I ever got the chance to do something like this. But I can't really. I mean, it's solid in itself. I don't myself see any compelling for this kind of game, but doesn't mean you cannot. I hope you watched it more and just doesn't depend on my opinion, how I feel about it. You can then decide if you would like this game or not. If it's so, uh, the link for a green light and Kickstarter, they said should be down here, but I don't get it until the day they actually I'm allowed to release this, so I cannot be 100% sure. Hopefully that's there though. And hopefully you enjoy this episode of Interstellar Logistic Inc. And see you next time. Goodbye.